Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a quick little review. I recently bought something that totally caught my attention when I did my full face of makeup with brands that begin with the letter K. I had discovered this Kaja Wink Stamp wing eyeliner stamp and pen set and I was like oh my gosh that's so interesting that looks like something that might be beneficial for me maybe I should test it out in a video so I didn't use it in that video so that we can try it together on camera today because if something like this works that's a game changer for me, folks. I am really, really awful at doing my own liner. One side always looks thicker, longer, just crazier than the other. And so I thought testing this out would be fun. <laughs> it would be like a nice little cute video to do together. Well, you know, I mean, we're bored at home. So it says you can get perfect wings in seconds. Unheard of. Impossible. Let's see. Stamp, line, repeat. That easy, huh? We shall see. Okay, so I have my makeup on. The only thing that's missing is some eyeliner and some mascara. So let's test this out. You get this little set. You get the Wink Stamp Wing Eyeliner Pen, which is just the regular liquid liner. It comes in a felt tip, so it's a little felt tip applicator. And then this is the actual stamp that you're supposed to stamp. It's the wing. So you have the left wing on one side and the right wing on the other. And you can see it's just like a little stamp. I don't know if you can see that, but we're gonna test it out today. And honestly, I'm more concerned about me using it correctly than it actually working, because this probably does work, but we'll see how I do. Let's see how I do it. Do you guys like my nail polish, by the way? Just wondering. Um, so, it says you're supposed to stamp your wing on first, like stamp the, the wing, and then finish it off by connecting it with the liquid liner. So it says, position the wing-shaped stamp at the outer edge of the eye and press down firmly. The wing should connect to the lower lash line, creating one continuous line. Okay, um, you know, it's not the shape I would normally go for, but let's not jump the gun. Let's finish, let's finish this. So now it says to use the eyeliner pen to draw along the lash line and connect the wing. And I'm supposed to shake this. Before I use it. The thing is that I feel like it's so high up it goes like this. But it said I needed to connect this edge to my eye, like the bottom of my eye, which I did. All right. Okay, so the felt tip actually applied really nicely. The formula seems nice, it's very black. Let's see how matte it looks when it dries, but I had no issues with this at all. <laughs> My issues with that stamp. I don't know if it's the most flattering stamp, but it could be a good guide. It could be like a good starting point. You can always like stamp this first and then use that as a guide to maybe make it sharper, make it longer, whatever the case may be. Now, let's see if I can get this side to look exactly the same because that's the, that's the issue we have most of the time, right? We can't get both of our wings to look the same and this is supposed to help with that. So yeah, let's do the other side. All right, taking the right side. This is my hard eye. It's always harder for me to do this eye. And I feel like it's so hard to tell where the edge of this wing is because you have to align it perfectly with your lower lash line so that it connects. Oh God, I'm scared. Oh no, I didn't do that side right. It's okay. Uh, hold on. I'm going to take my Brow Food makeup eraser pen and I'm going to erase that as much as I can. Okay, let's see if I can go over that. Attempt to fix it without removing the whole thing. Why is this so hard for me to position? Oh my God, absolutely not. I'm gonna have to take the whole thing off. One second. What am I doing wrong? Um, all right, let's, okay, let's do this again. We're gonna do it right this time. Better, not the same, but better. I'm getting closer. That's almost there, That that's almost there. I think it, I, well, That's a, that's a, nah, meh. 
that's pretty close, right? Listen, that's as close as it's gonna get. I've done it five times. What I will say is this wing isn't perfectly sharp. And if you don't stamp down perfectly, you might not get a perfect edge. It's kind of like what happened to me right here. This one looks a little bit sharper, but this side looks a little bit more rounded. Like if my skin got caught underneath it when I was stamping it, I don't know. I'm trying to fix that. Fix it, mess it up, whatever. Let me do the same on this side. Just making it sharper so that they match. Okay, let's connect. Okay, what do you guys think? I mean, you guys saw that I accidentally made this one really fat. That was not my intention. So I had to try to make them match as, as much as I could, but I actually think it doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna quickly apply some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the end result of the Kaja Wink stamp. They're obviously not 100% even. This one is higher up than this one, you can see. I did a much better job of connecting the bottom of the wing to my lower lash line on this side than I did on this side. You can see like the bottom of the wing here is a little bit higher up than my lower lash line. But besides that, I think it looks really good. I think it's all about getting used to the stamp. I feel like if I use this a bunch of times, I will definitely get the hang of it. And then I think it'll be way easier, which I know is the case for regular wings as well. I mean, practice makes perfect. If you're drawing your wings on every single day, I guarantee you like in a month, you're gonna become a pro. And I definitely see that being the case for this guy. At first I thought it was a bit difficult to use. Like trying to line the wing up with your lower lash line is pretty difficult, especially when you're trying to do it the exact same way as the other side. So I did struggle with that, but I feel like if you can nail that down, the rest is such a breeze. You just connect it, you draw your line, and boom, you've got your wing. So I actually wouldn't say this is a flop. Halfway through this video, I'm like, oh, tremendo flop. But no, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna continue to use this and see if I can perfect this. Imagine if I can just stamp my wings on in seconds. That would be amazing. So yeah, what did you guys think of the Kaja Wink stamp? Does it look gimmicky? Do you feel like this is something that would definitely work for you? I wanna know your thoughts because I feel like a lot of you guys struggle like I do. Wings are hard, man. They're hard. And something like this is just so interesting and it was so fun to try. So let me know your thoughts down below and also let me know if there's anything out there you want me to test out that's similar to this. I've tried out the magnetic lashes for you guys. That was super cool. But if there's anything else you're curious about and you want me to put it to the test, leave it in the comments down below. But yes, I would rate this. Let's see. I give this three and a half lightning bolts. I don't give it four lightning bolts because I removed this wing like 78 times. And I also don't give it more points because the actual stamp is a little bit rounded and it's not my favorite shape, but it's so convenient and I feel like it will be easy to use once I practice more often. So, Three and a half lightning bolts. But anyway guys, that completes this video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.